the internet. Welcome to Birds of a Feather. We have some barbarians for you today. I'm pretty excited. So for those of you who maybe have not encountered this before, Birds of a Feather is a thing we do as a subscriber goal. Um, every month we set a goal of 15 new or renewed subscriptions, and then if we hit that, we schedule a Birds of a Feather game. Birds of a Feather basically means that subscribers in our Discord, um, in our Discord we have a channel that is subscriber only, and you can vote on which class the next Birds of a Feather game is. Um, we have a vote up at the moment, which we will be closing at the end of this game for our next one, um, which is from November. So, and yeah, we're we're in the process of gathering subscribers for our December one. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so that we can have more. Uh, in the meantime, these six lovely people are going to be barbarians today. Um, I'm going to get you all to introduce yourselves in a minute but first so in the horde games we do an in-game giveaway where i pick an item or i roll for an item usually um and people can give it to any of the horde characters but this is a bit different because it's a one shot and these characters only appear in this game and then we never see them again probably so <laughs> we're going to do it a bit differently i have picked an item it is called the snicker snack it is a sword from the Witchlight book, based obviously on the Lewis Carroll snicker snack. Um, so, what we will do is the giveaway is already open in the chat. You can type exclamation point shiny thing, and whoever wins it can gift it to any of these six barbarians, and they will then have it for the second half of the game. Ooh. It is an attunement item, but we will assume that you are attuned to it in the second half, so you don't have to take the time to attune to it. It does have a bit of an attunement trick, though, and so mm -hmm. if that comes into play, we will have to see what happens. If you go and have a read of the item, you'll see what I mean. It's hilarious if if you miss too many, if you miss three, if you miss three times in a row with the sword, the sword decides that you're no longer worthy of it and just unattunes. It's just like fuck you, I'm done, <laughs> which I think is amazing. <laughs> you and your shitty tax. Yeah, I need to find someone more sword. competent. Oh my god. <laughs> So I love it. I love it. It's great. It's a great item. So <laughs> we are doing that. Um, I think that's pretty much. Oh, we have a Cthul Cthulhu game this week, correct? We do. This week. The do you want to talk about that, Lionel? Because you're the DM for that. So with the Horde, we're currently doing a Call of Cthulhu campaign. They have been going through many steps so far, including a haunted house and a mine with some very creepy stuff. And now they are on the lookout for one of their friends who disappeared out of a sudden. And it's an episode called The, the Dreamer, and it's going to be just uh, in two days. Yeah. So you all should definitely come and hang out and watch Lionel be extremely creepy. His, it's it's terrifying. I yeah. Watch me be extremely ineffectual. It's, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, but terrifying. Anyway. Those are our major things, I think, at the moment, unless anyone else has anything they want to talk about. Cool. In that case, I will get you to each introduce yourselves and your characters, starting with Mike. So, uh, I'm going to be playing uh, Vulprix Brasshorn, librarian turned barbarian. He is a <laughs> Oath of the Zealot Barbarian. Uh, mm. Minotaur. Love it. Kit. Hello, my name is Megma. I'm just here to fuck shit up. I am Fire Genasi. Mercenary. Yes. Chrissy! <laughs> so no no voices for me, but I'm Chrissy. And um, I'm playing Rosie Heather Song. She's a um, Path of the Spirit Totem um, halfling barbarian who plays the flute. Love it. Nicole! Hi, I'm Nicole. I am playing Kelric Tianifra. He is a high elf barbarian. Um, yeah, wild magic. Woo! Nice. I'm a fan. <laughs> Lionel. Hi, I'm Lionel. I'm going to be playing Shosta, the Leonin barbarian. Mm. That's very fitting. Mm -hmm. Jennifer. <laughs> I'm playing Janice. 
And I'm a... And I'm a... Uh, and I'm a... And I'm a... Uh, drown spider farmer. <laughs> Dead. <So>, Alright! <laughs> Excellent. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> so... You all... Go to sleep wherever you are in your various worlds and universes. One night. And when you wake up, you find yourselves in a cell. Let me show you. Oh. <clears throat> it appears to be a cave. There is a big iron gate on one side. You have never seen each other before. You have no idea how you got there. It's just a big rock cavern. And wherever you were before, you are no longer there. You are now here. What would you like to do? Do we have our stuff? You do. Anything that you would normally have on you, you have on you. Yes. Okay, but what about what about my spider? <laughs> you have your spider. Cool. That's in enough. Oh, hi, people. Where where are we? Yeah, I, I, I'm... I don't know this place. No, Who are this, you? This what is, are you? isn't my. <laughs> this is in my library. Um. What in goddamn hell is going on? I don't well, know. What is... uh, if I if I had to guess, and this is just me saying, and this voice is coming from a seven foot three minotaur. Mm -hmm. If I had to say, uh, I would say some form of magic seems to have uh, brought us here. Um, That's bullshit. I'm not entirely sure why, but oh, we. Oh, uh... no offense. I did not mean offense by saying bullshit. I don't know. Sorry, it's crap. <sighs> you said a bad word, lady. No. Indeed, I, I meant just you. bull. I did not want to offend. Okay. Can uh, Vuprix uh, look around and see maybe see if there's anything identifying to see where we are? I'll make an investigation check. Absolutely. He's great at those. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a, a look. Yep. That's a, that's a 25. Oh, he is actually pretty great at those. He, he's oh, yeah. the one with the intelligence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's mine was one. 19. Um, uh, it, it's a big rock room. There's basically nothing in it. You may find a couple of skeletons. Uh, uh, we, we seem to be in some form of subterranean cave. Uh, I, I'm not sure how or why we got here, but there seems to be the only one way out through those iron bars there. Do you say this? You hear a voice booming from, like, the walls and the ceiling. There's no obvious place that it's coming from it just like echoes around you and it says welcome warriors you have been chosen for the great and powerful event of the century in which we will discover the strongest and most valiant of beings are you that? ready Who you lower that? the volume just a little bit we are in a cave you don't need to yell I did not but, sign up for this. No. Sure, I'm, I'm ready. Why not? No, did you sign for this? I did not sign for this. You have been chosen. No. It ignores your request for for a soft <laughs> softer volume. You have been chosen from all the warriors around all the universes, universe I. Anyway, um, to be part of our great experiment. Should you win, succeed, survive, there will be great rewards. Should you fail, you will be dead. Oh, no. I don't want to be dead. Uh, then you, you best were right you the first... succeed. You were right the first time it's universes. Um, no, I, I don't really want to die. It, so, sure. Do I have Did to fight these? Put your glasses up? Five? <laughs> Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Just really I will want hide behind the big horde guy. 
You are intended to be a team. So perhaps you should get to know each other. I'll be right back. And the voice fades away. Oh. Can I trust you when uh, you I don't know you. What? I... Did someone I mean, sign? I don't know how we got here. I did not sign up for Did this. anyone see who said that? I, I couldn't I, find him. I don't think there was anyone really to see, uh, based on his yelling and reverberations. I don't think he was in here. We, I think we, he was... Can we, what? we get out of the gate? Can we push this, like, bars or something? I, we oh, I can't. Very I'm strong. strong. I'm strong like Paul. Oh, I did it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. I like that one. I've heard it a bunch. But I can't. I can, I can, I'm going to go up to the bars sure. and just... I'm going to encourage you, lady. You seem strong. Make a strength check. Are you trying to pull the bars down? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> going to try to muscle my way through. Cool. You know, first roll with my new dice. Here we go. Strength roll. Yep. Uh, new dice, who this? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pull up Trixie? 13. <laughs> they don't even move. These, they clearly are designed to hold the strongest and mightiest of warriors. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, that, that didn't work. Um, if we're to work together, we should probably do what he said and get to know each other. Uh, I'm Vuprix, Vuprix Brasshorn. Uh, I'm a librarian by day. Uh, and, well, I guess librarian by night, too. Uh, but, you know... I, I've I've gone on some adventures and spent some time, and I know how to swing my axe. And he'll have his giant axe. Yes. I love my him. name is Magma. <laughs> Magma, I also have axe. Very oh, good. that's a good axe. I like that one. Well, my, my brother told me not to talk to strangers, but now that you said your names, you're not strangers anymore. So, hi, I'm Shosta. Shosta. Oh, yeah. Your brother sounds like a very smart person, Shasta. That's right, stranger danger. He is. Mm. He's very wise. Mm. How about hey, you I'm guys? Je Je Hi, Hi, you smiley. Yeah, I'm a spider farmer. Oh, I don't like Je that. Desire does have a big spider with her. Oh, oh that's a bee. put the spider. And then she opens up her pocket and another small one comes out. And this is Betty A. Oh. Why do you do you, do you farm the silk from the spiders? Oh uh, no, they they lay lots of eggs, and so I cook them up. There's I have a, a restaurant that does that does cuisine and stuff. Cuisine. The eggs or the spiders? <laughs> the spiders. Uh, is that token the correct size? Uh, it's That's actually large. Oh. Ouch. My apologies. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Trust I will immediately hide Magma's in the corner. over here now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all spread out. Um, um, can I do an intelligence check to try to make out the uh, breed of spider? I was over here. Cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, just I hope Jennifer knows the answer. That's a 21. What well, kind of spider is it? D&D Beyond just says giant spider, but uh, it's a tarantula if I can flavor it. <laughs> it's a giant tarantula. How uh, tall is this thing? It's large, so at least 10 ah, feet. Ah, so that's a, uh, they're a facade. That's a, that's a nice looking spider there. That's, wow, I've never seen one so big, though. Um, do uh, all your spiders grow that big? No, just that's a bee. But I've had her since I was knee high to a grasshopper. What about you, colorful yes. lady? You haven't spoken much. And he looks at the uh, yeah, he looks at you, Chris. Yeah. Um. So Rosie's just kind of just sitting there, like with her blonde curls and her pink outfit, and just kind of flabbergasted by everything. And she's like three feet tall, so looking up at everybody. <laughs> um. And so she's kind of like, I was just at the pub, and now I'm here. I'm not quite sure 
what's going on, but I'm, I'm Rosie, Rosie Heather Song. Perhaps you've heard of me in the performance uh, tours of, of the pubs where you're from, but um, I do have an ax and she pulls out her her giant ax, which is tiny compared to everybody else's. But, <laughs> you have my ax um, and my ax and my yes. ax. <laughs> yep. so I do I have have ax going on. May not look like a I has a shovel. So mm. <laughs> I've uh, I've not spent much time in pubs. Uh, sorry, uh, just a little loud for for my taste. You know, I like to I like to sit back with a good book every now and then. You know, and I'm sure you're just, great though. Oh, I am. And just yes. as this conversation is progressing, um, the world around you starts to fade away, and it is replaced by what looks like a courtyard. Mm. Mm. Does there that happen are often? Battlements yep, and like a gigantic castle and the whole place is kind of surrounded by this, these stone walls. Um, and there's a fountain in the middle and on it is like a, a plinth and on the plinth is a gigantic like wheel of fortune, spinning wheel. Yep, and there is a figure standing next to it, and he is tall. He looks human, but he's tall for a human, and he has, like, kind of purple and blue hair that sort of waft dramatically, <laughs> and a kind of a ringmaster's outfit. And he says, mm. and it, when he speaks, you recognize the voice as the same voice from previously, and he goes, well... I do hope you have taken some time to get to know each other and bond over your shared goal of surviving this exciting entertainment event. Today, we are going to run you through some terribly interesting games. And should games. you survive, you will be extremely well rewarded at the end. Should you not well. survive, well, you shan't be there to claim your reward. And I suppose it will be divided between the others. <clears throat> hmm. All right. What, what kind of games? Well, to start with, we shall each spin the wheel and see what you get. Oh. <laughs> is How many of you can... Is this, this water is a water fountain? No. It, okay. it looks like it was a fountain, but it's been repurposed. Okay. Um, do... Can any... I mean, obviously the librarian can read. Can anyone else read? <laughs> <laughs> You're a bunch of barbarians, so... Yeah, it's <laughs> not intelligence of nine, I think. It's, you know, so almost average, so probably... My right. intelligence is ten. I'm okay. at ten. Mine's, a, mine's eleven, and I've got five languages, so I'm pretty good. Sweet! Ooh, wow. Smart, bunch of smart barbarians. Okay, well, those of you who can read can see that the wheel is divided pretty clearly into the names of monsters and magical items. And he goes, each of you gets to spin one. Perhaps you will get something to help you in the games. Perhaps someone will appear that you will have to fight in order to proceed to the next round. Who would rounds? like to go first? So uh, does does that mean since there's six of us, there's six rounds? Or do we have to do multiple no, rounds no. here? You you all do. You're, you're a team. So you proceed through the rounds as a team. Unless someone dies, mm -hmm. in which case they are left behind. All right. Well, uh, uh, I'll try my luck. All right. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, go right on ahead. What, what, was, jump what, was, on Betsy what was, was your name, darling? Oh, Don, I, what was your I name? am Kelric Tianithra. I was that's right. yes, I traveling in Aeor. I don't know mm. how I ended up here. I don't think any of us know. I, I, I think, like I keep saying, I, I think it's magic. And I think we're kind of yeah. stuck here until we finish playing whatever game he's got planned for us there. Okay. Smiles at you. Bribes you like a ringmaster would. Okay. Uh, we, we can, in all my, we can book, magician. In all my all books, right. the magicians had the pointy hat. He doesn't have the pointy hat. Right. If you would like to spin the wheel, I need you to all roll right. a D20 and a D8, and tell me what you get on each of them. Please. Right. You want each of us to give a roll? Yeah, eventually, but we'll do them one at a time. Okay. Okay. Just, just for simplicity. I got a 
still not I got a three on the D20. Uh huh. And a six on the D8. Cool. So the wheel spins and it does that like blurry thing for a while and then it slows down and you watch as it goes exactly and then it stops and the words on the one that it stops on say winged lion and behind the fountain you see appearing a large lion with wings incoming and it just stands there for now and then he goes all right Looks like we have one monster so far. Who's next? Well, uh, I'll do it. Isaiah said you wanted to go, right? Me. Yeah. All right. One d twenty, one d eight, please. Uh, eleven and the uh, one. Eleven and one. <laughs> eleven and one. Okay. The wheel spins. <laughs> For just a second, you can see it stop on the red that marks the monsters, and then it flips over onto a green one. And out of the sky falls at your feet an axe. And it is beautiful. <laughs> it is a great axe. It is a plus three great axe. Ooh. Which you can add to your inventory. Nice. Well, uh, anyone mind if I go next? Nope. Go ahead, All right. Mr. Librarian. Uh, you just get one spin. So, 12 sorry, go and ahead. a 4. A 12 and a 4. Spins again. Your stops on another green one. And you see Ooh. out of the sky falls and like spears into the ground and kind of does that thing that they do. A javelin. This is a javelin of lightning. Ooh. So you can add that to your inventory. <laughs> All right. Uh, How come I'm the only one rolling monsters? <laughs> All right, Who's Magma, off you go. Magma, okay. <coughs> this might be a real easy fight. <laughs> and three. Fifteen and three. Fifteen and three. And three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Duh. Spins again. Stops on a green one. Mm. This time the thing comes, it, it falls out of the sky, but it has like a little parachute. So it like floats mm -hmm. down and lands at your feet and it is a buck. Mm -hmm. And the box contains four superior healing potions. Oh, this is amazing. What was that again? Uh, why to find? Four superior healing potions on that four one. Oh. Rosie and Shosta, who's next? Is it okay if I go? Yeah, yes, go ahead. Okay. So she had a 16 and a 7. Oh, okay. Um, it spins... Stops on a green. <laughs> you look up expecting something exciting, and for a moment nothing happens, and then there's like a tink, 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 as a ring falls out of the sky and lands Ooh. at your feet. Nice. This is a ring of feather falling. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's <laughs> All right, Shasta. When Shasta gets I like how we have to one monster so far. Yeah. He's, going to, he's like, yeah, going to say me. hi in Leonin to the to the winged uh, lion and hope he answers. Yeah. And if he doesn't, <laughs> he will spin the wheel and get a 12 and a 5. <laughs> um, <laughs> the wheel spins. Stops on a green. Yet another <laughs> ring falls out of the sky. This one is oh, a ring yeah. of mind shielding. Ooh. Do you put it on? I do not. I don't know what to do with like, like uh, jewelry. So I turn around. Who wants that? It, well, I have big uh... fingers. It doesn't work for me. Uh, it's magic, so it will grow to fit your fingers. Yeah, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> well, uh, uh. you know, it, it fell from the sky for you. I bet huh? if you tried to put it on, it would adjust and fit. Really? He tries. Oh, yeah, he puts it on. Purposes of this game, I'm going to say you don't have to wait for attunement. It just happens. Okay. As soon as it happens, Shasta, you hear in your head a voice that says, Hello? Hello? Are you there? I can uh, definitely sense that someone is there. Hello? Who, me? Yes, you. You put the ring on, yes? Uh-huh. 
Yeah? Who, who are you? Well, Where are you? My name is Ezekiel... I've forgotten my last name. I've been in this ring for a very long time. Ezekiel... Ezekiel. Zeke, you can call me Zeke. So, yeah, Zeke. what are we Hi. doing? This is very exciting. It's been a very long time since I had anyone to talk to. I don't know. I, I, I was snacking and then we got to a place and then there's a giant spider and now there's a wheel and then there's a lion and I don't know what's happening. Well, try is, not is to die, he okay? Out loud, out loud. I, I try. He is. You cannot hear the voice in the ring. Only he can hear the yep. voice in the ring. But presumably uh. he's saying it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am. Shasta, who, who are you talking to there? Is Zeke. Zeke talks to me. I don't know where he is. I think he's hiding. But he, he seems excited. Zeke, so, is that your, is that your mechanically, brother? Mechanically? No, no, my, my brother is called Kovish. Oh. So mechanically, it is a ring of mind shielding. You, it works okay. as usual. The only thing you cannot shield yourself from is the soul trapped inside it. <laughs> Fair. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. The, sure. the, the ringmaster man goes, well... Gosh, what a lucky bunch you are! I cannot wait to see what you do with this! And he like, does a Wonder Woman spin and disappears, at which point the lion roars, and oh. is go is about to attack, so I need some initiative, please. Th does Shosta okay. understand the roar? Leonie and all? One moment, please! Is that friend no. of yours? Or... Okay. No. No, it's not. It's. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, I get advantage on. Me too. I was gonna say, I think we all get advantage. Yeah. I would like oh. you to know that I rolled for all the monsters in this game. Oh. <laughs> Which is one. <laughs> so far. <laughs> oh my god, a one and a four with advantage. That's. Oof. Oh my god, I got a natural 20 on my advantage, so. Hey, nice. Me too. Wow. Same wow. Now. You guys. I did Alrighty. Not. Um, over 20 then. 24. Nat 25. 24. Not 20 for 24. Wow. So, three of us. That 20 for 25. So, 25, 24. What was yours, Jed? 24 as well. So, who's got the higher dex between you and Shasta? Uh, mine's 19. I got, I got 15 dex. Okay. So, I'm just going to call you Jed. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like Jin as well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else over 20? 22. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> right? This poor lion's oh not even gonna get a turn. I think <laughs> person with healing potions go left. I think this is fine. Everything's good, yes. 15. Cool. Over 10? Oh wow. Over 5. 8. Oof. Uh, I forgot the your character's name. And then What's your character's I am name? Pell Rick. There we go. Sorry, it went out of my brain. I was about to write Rianth, and then I was like, wait, that's not right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Right, so the lion roars and kind of gets oh, that, like, I'm about to pounce look. Um, mm -hmm. Velpix. Is that your name? Did I get that Vulpric. right? Vuprix. Vulprix. Vuprix. My bad. Vuprix. V-U-P-R-I-X. Yep, got it. I was thinking of the Pokemon. <laughs> You're yeah, up! Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, I guess we're, uh, uh, I guess we're to attack this thing, so, yeah, uh, he's going to bonus action rage. Okay. And he's going to take 35 feet of movement and just go straight to the... The lion. Okay. Yep. And he's going to make his first attack with the okay. uh, blood axe. Yep. So that is not great. Uh, 21. <laughs> not, not great. great. Not great. Yes. <laughs> 21 hits. <laughs> okay. So that's going to be... Uh, there we go. 19 points of slashing and one point of necrotic um, and what size is this guy large large can I get a strength saving throw please sure 
a natural 19. Okay. Uh, that's so, okay. Plus something. It's... Oh, I'm sorry. That's a uh, six necrotic. Oh. Okie dokie. And do we get a second attack? Do barbarians get that? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I okay. Usually. I do. Okay. Yeah. So he's going to go ahead and take his second attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this poor and, guy. Uh, that's even worse. 16. 16 hits. Okay. For... Uh, 20 points of slashing damage. All right. All right. And... Ow! Oh! <laughs> Oh, shoot, I did that all wrong. Okay, so he gets 20 points of slashing, uh, 5 points of necrotic, and um, he, I'm going to go ahead and use my Divine Fury okay. for another 7 points of necrotic. There we go. I, I did that all wrong. Well, this lion looks mighty fucked up as a result of all of that. <laughs> that was a lot of damage in one turn. At least I called down you... something, you know. Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> cool. Jedazia. 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 <laughs> Jedazia. <laughs> Alright. She's gonna ride her spider and it's just gonna climb over the wheel because it has, yeah, that's it has climbed. So. It, it can do that. It's a spider. Yep. Um, and she's on the spider. I don't know how yeah. we want. I'm just gonna blue her over there. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, and then, looking at how it's hurt already, they're not even gonna bother raging, and they're just gonna hit it two times okay. with the great axe. Do it. Uh, a. I can do. I can do math. Thirty. <laughs> yes, that hits. <laughs> Fifteen points of damage, blasting damage. Oh, cool, it's one, still up. One more time. Mhm. Mm For uh, a twenty to hit. Yes. For uh, sixteen points of damage. Cool. Ow. Is that your turn? Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> it's it's extremely hurt. It is, it is an unhappy lion. Shasta, okay. you're up. I, I don't want to hit the big kitty and everyone seems to be mean to him, so I will just hold my turn until the big kitty is mean to me. Okay, fair. Rosie! So she pauses. She was practicing her Wonder Woman spins to try and see if she could get <laughs> that in for her performances <laughs> and was not expecting to go just yet. Um, but she'll stop mid-spin <laughs> and... Uh, I guess go for a movement of 35 feet and try and hit him. Mm -hmm. So that would be a 25 to hit. Yes. For a whopping um, seven, seven points of slashing. Cool. And then and then she'll try and hit him again. Okay. For a twenty-seven to hit. Yes. See, and, I told you my my attack rolls were bad. And and, <laughs> then, uh, and that would be seventeen points of slashing. Wow. Mm -hmm. This lion is barely standing. He's shaking on his feet. It's a hard time. Is that your turn, Rosie? It, it is. She'll so floor cool. a little spin at the end. <laughs> it's the lion's turn. <laughs> at least he got one. He is yeah. going to. He is going to attack Vuprix because you hurt him the most. And he is going to attempt to bite you. That's cocked. Oh my god. That's a nine. <laughs> Apparently he is much too in pain to bite anyone right now. Mm. Helric. Poor thing. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess since it 
you know, I'm the one that got it here. I'll stay 10 feet away, though, because I have a glaive. Mm -hmm. Or, sorry, a hal I have a halberd. Sorry, not a glaive, a halberd. <clears throat> um, and I will try and attack it. Attack. Uh, 17 to hit. Hits. Yep. Okay. That is 12 points of damage. Uh, the lion does one last roar and then just disappears. And there's nothing there anymore. People, he just wanted hear, to play. And you hear from the side of the courtyard. Well done. That was an excellent warm up. Let's go to the next game, shall we? And he snaps his fingers and the oh world boy. fades. So we'll remove the lion. Well, uh, you, you see, Shasta, uh, yeah. this is part of the game. Uh, we need to survive the rounds that he throws at us. And, well, I didn't want to do what we just did to that lion there. Uh, it was part of the game. Maybe it wasn't even real. It might have been magic, because all of this is magic. So it's probably a summoned creature. But you saw he tried to play. He, like, pretended to attack you. He did not even touch you. You find yourselves in the middle of a green and empty field. There are some trees oh. around. It's very lovely and pastoral. And the man, the ringmaster man, did I get everyone? Is everyone there? One, two, yep. Mm -hmm. The ringmaster mm -hmm. man is standing there with you and he goes, Now we're going to like play a game I like to call Whack-A-Monster. Oh. <laughs> that seems Each fun. of you are going to roll a die. And depending on what number you get will depend on which monster comes out of the whack-a-monster machine for you to whack. Now, you have a choice. We can either do this one at a time and you can fight them all as we go. Or, my preference, we all roll and we just fight them all at once. What do we think? If we, uh, if we, if we roll to fight them all at once, does the prize pot grow a little bigger you know put a little more little, oh. little, little... why not that seems like fun I I risk higher higher higher. so i'm ready to go all at once i don't know about ah. i want turn <sighs> excellent <laughs> let's go so the way this let's works is one, one i have quick question though um, yes the uh, the outdoors isn't exactly good for my sinuses. Do you have like a little bit of water I can splash and clear out the pollen? No. Oh. Oh. Okay. I do. I have I have like a, a like a little pouch of water if you want, and it gets a little from his pouch. There you go. Oh, oh thank you, Shasta. He he he'll kind of You're like. Welcome. He, he'll kind of he'll he'll keep the end of the um water skin out of his nose, things? but it's, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna like little neti pot. The neti, yeah, okay. <laughs> much much better. Thank you, Shasta. I never drank like that. It's so weird. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you are the strangest group of warriors I have ever encountered, but You're I'm welcome. sure this will be exciting. So the way this works is that I have randomly selected a monster based on a challenge rating of 1 to 12. You're going to roll a d12, and depending on what number you get, that's the monster mm -hmm. you're going to get. So for this mm -hmm. one, you want to roll low, mm -hmm. unless you want to fight something big and scary, of course. Then you want to this, roll high. This is very much so, Which is, which is exactly why I rolled an 11. Yes. <laughs> an 11. Okay. Okay, so one. we've got an 11. As, as you say 11, oh, you see a large winged demon with horns appear. I saw, I heard a one. Mm -hmm. Two ones. There's oh. Two ones and a two. That's good. I got a three. Yay. Oh my goodness, you guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we want to live. <laughs> so we've got a, got a two. Yep. I got a 12. <laughs> now we <laughs> so two ones, 
a two, a three, an eleven, a twelve. And twelve. That's six, right? Yeah. So yeah. let me just copy this one. <laughs> so is that what you see appearing around you is two women who are like completely white and sort of floating. You see a strange kind of reddish monster with multiple mouths on it. You see a <laughs> tiny little creature which looks like it's wearing a red cap until you realize that actually that's just its head and oh. it's holding a sickle and it's wearing mm. some really big iron boots. You see, as I mentioned before, this winged, large winged being with horns and you see a what very clearly looks like a demon woman. Mm. Looking okay, around, well, does <laughs> uh, does v Vuprix have any uh, Vuprix have any idea what any of these creatures are? You can make an intelligence check. Absolutely. Um, sixteen. Sixteen. Um, I would say you get the general gist that the two winged creatures are probably fiends of some sort. Um, you probably recognize that the woman in white is some kind of undead. <coughs> there are two of them. Um, so that's probably what you get out of that. Okay. And so, at this uh, point, initiative. Woo! So uh, the the ones to our south there are uh, fiends of some sort. They're they're from one of the uh, one of the hells maybe. And uh, the, the, the white ones, those are undeads of some sort, so kind of be ready for those. The, the two up north, I'm not quite sure what they are. Alrighty. Mm. So, let's see. Oh, God, have hell, that red one is, yes. Mm. <laughs> do we have a plan? Do we take out the littles and then go for the biggies, or what do we do? Well, yeah. don't we start with big and work our way down? Big can do more damage, yes? Yeah, well, not necessarily. Little can do big damage, too. Um, yeah, but big is scary. Big is scary, like, yeah. Uh, right. We don't like, want like to like let ourselves get right overrun. Lady. That's right. So. Well, maybe four of us can work on big ones for a minute, and two of us can try and take out these littler ones. Huh? I'll take out littles. All right. Who's, who's not scared of my spider? <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez, really? Elf butts, uh, team ah! two. Elf. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So, over 20? Uh, oh. Sorry, I should do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Uh, that, that would be over 20. That's uh, 21. Sorry, bear with me. I was All too right. excited looking at the map. I yeah. heard a 21. Was there anything else over 20? Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Whack a monster! Oh. Um, what is your dexterity? Calric? Uh, yes. <laughs> I love it. That was My great. My dex is great 16. Mom. Okay. Alrighty. Over 15? 15. 15. 16? Wait. I did 19. I heard a 19. Yes. 20. Cool. No, I got, I got 20. Oh. oh, you got 20. What is your... Um, Dex, please. 20. Okay. Uh, and the 19. It was me. Yep. And a 18. 17. 16. Rosie. Ooh. 15. 15. Shasta. And magma. And magma. My my dex is thirteen. I have fifteen. Okay. So he goes. Cool. First. Is that everyone? 
<laughs> Even one, though two, I rolled better, three, I still four, five. Five. Who have I missed? <laughs> I've missed someone. Oh no, I haven't. Nope, we're good. Cool. Well, I rolled quite good initiative. So. <laughs> uh huh. The yes, horned devil is going first. <laughs> mm. E, where are you, buddy? I think is going to. Fly to here, and it is going to make three attacks on Vuprix. It's gonna t stab you twice with its demon fork thing, and then smack you with its tail. Okay. So, demon fork the first. <laughs> As usual, my dice are betraying me. Eight! Demon Fork the second. <laughs> oh my god. We don't, we don't have Adam roll for you as an option today. <laughs> Eleven. Tail. Oh my god. Can we put the Adam roll for me thing in, please? Yes. <laughs> that was a three on the dice. He's oh. really powerful, you guys. <laughs> anyway. Um... <laughs> That's that's oh, that's he says it's there. Oh, yeah. He says it's there. Yeah. All right. Come on, Get out. Yeah. My we'll next creature will get him. <laughs> All right. That was his turn. He is very frustrated. <laughs> it is now this lady's turn. Oh no. She is going to. Fire her longbow. She's gonna stay where she is, and she's gonna fire her longbow at, let's say, magma, because you look the most like her, and she doesn't which, like that. Which one? Which one is it? The the demon lady down at the bottom. Oh, the foxy demon so, lady. Mm -hmm. Adam, can you roll me, please, an attack roll? Yes. Eighteen. Mm -mm. Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> so that is a total of. Good hit. 22. Cool. Yeah. So you take some damage. You take. Oh, wow. Wow. Seven uh -oh. piercing damage. And. Oh. Ow. I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. <coughs> 11. You take eight points of poison damage and you are poisoned. Okay. Which means you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Okay. <laughs> uh, that, I think, can she do it again? Oh, yeah, she can do it again. She's going to do it again, but I'm going to roll this time, so you're probably okay. going to not get hit. Okay. Yep, no, nope. okay, that's a... It's kind of flirting. That's a 9. Oh, that's better. And a dirty 20. <coughs> so, another con... Oh, you're already poisoned, so that doesn't really matter. You mm -hmm. still take the damage. So, 2 plus 6 is 8 points of piercing damage. And 11 points of poison damage. So, 19 total on that one. Hmm. 8 and 11. Unless you have resistances or anything. Yep. Mm, not to those. No. That is her turn. It is now Kelric's turn. All right. Well, uh, we had a plan. I'm gonna try and stick to it. I'm gonna run at this guy over here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna stay right here. Which? Oh, uh, yep. Okay. And uh, try and attack him hmm? with my halberd. First attack is gonna hit with a 29. With a 29, yeah, it sure is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's only nine points of damage. My second attack. What kind of damage is it? It is um, slashing, but it's I have a magical halberd. Okay. Sorry, how uh, many did you say? 19. 
Nine. No, nine. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, my second attack is 24. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is... Um, eight points of damage. But as a bonus action, I am going to smack him with the other side of my halberd. Okay. Um, which, okay. Uh, I don't know if that's going to hit. Um, 15? 15 does hit. Okay. He's just a little guy. <laughs> I know. Um, that's six more points of damage. Okay. So that's my turn. I moved and I did all my attacks. Cool. It is now the snow maidens. Mm, they remind me of old girlfriend. <laughs> Did you see that you got <laughs> that you got healing word? Thank you. What is that? D four plus plus four. Plus four. Rosie, I'm just gonna move you into a square. This one's gonna fly over to you, and this one's gonna fly Ooh, over to four. Magma, because awesome. you're the closest to them. And they are each going to reach out and attempt to drain your life. Oh, that's not cool. So, Rosie. That's a natural one. This is the lucky <laughs> dice that Adam gave oh. me, and it just rolled a natural one. It's Magma. Lucky when Adam rolls it, though, there we go, good. that's better. That's a 21 to hit. Ooh. Magma, I'm assuming 21 oh, yes. you. Yes, sorry, I'm yep. doing chat cool. for my healing work. I need you to make a constitution save, please. On save. Uh, 16. You save, but you still take 6 points of cold damage. That is them. Mm -hmm. Boopricks. Shasta, you want to help me with... Actually, Shasta, go after the one down there. Jedediah, I know you had talked about going after the little ones, but help me with this big one here, and he's going to rage. Okay. The the big one or the lady one? He, he's in a rage. <laughs> um, oh, why didn't I rage? He is, he is going to... We're not to used to it. <laughs> attack the, the horned devil that tried to fork him. Uh-huh. That's fair. <laughs> so, I need to read one. Fork you! <laughs> okay, so, it will take uh, 26 to hit. Uh, yep. Okay, so it'll take uh, 10 points, or uh, 17 points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, magical. Yep. It will take 2 points of necrotic. Yep. And an additional eight points of radiant. Oh. And then second attack. Um, twenty-eight to hit. That'll be ugh, twelve points slashing and two points necrotic. Oh. And that'll be Wait. his turn. Alrighty. That brings us to this little red guy with the sickle and the iron boots, who, by the way, is one of my favorite creatures in Dungeons and Dragons. I love them. <laughs> See a red cap? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a mad cap. It's even a better. Oh. <laughs> he oh, no. is going to run up to Kelric over here, and he is going to kick you in the shins. Um, <laughs> so he, he basically swings a sickle at you three times and then kicks you in the shins. And he is swearing in Sylvan, <laughs> which maybe you understand because you said you had like four languages. I do understand. <laughs> awesome. You can hear him swearing at you in Sylvan. He is using every bad word you have ever learned in Sylvan. <laughs> hey, now. These are, his, these are his three sickle attacks. Wow. <laughs> One's a natural one. One's a 17. That hits. And one's a 22. That hits. So two of them hit, yeah? Yeah. Cool. 
Uh, so Public the language! The first one, you take 12 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. The second one, you take... Ooh! 17 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. And then I need you to make a dexterity save as he goes for your shins. Okay. With his iron boots. I love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is only a 14. A 14 is the DC, so you save. Oh. Mm. So so nothing happens. It just okay, okay. misses. You manage to dodge out the way. Yeah, I That's... take my halberd and like, try and push them back. Like, hey! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the whole time he's just like swearing profusely in the most awful way in Sylvan. Who taught you how to say these words? Get back! And I'm talking Jedazia. to you, Sylvan. Yeah. Jed. Jed does I yeah. can't hear you. Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah. You're there Man, you guys ain't ever got no home train to have you. And uh, she's gonna rage. And when she does, uh, her mouth kind of sprouts these um, mandibles that look like a spider mouth. That's disgusting. I love it. <laughs> No more uh, cute balls over here. <laughs> so that is a. Oh, hold on. I gotta go to the right sheet. A 30 to hit. Oh, are we hitting? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Yep. Me, okay, boy. yep. Th 30 the hits him, yes. Um, for 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. And then one more time. For. Yeah, a. 25 to hit. Yes. For 19 points of slashy damage. Cool. Is that your puppy, Nick? That's you? Yeah. Rosie! Okay, so she's going to um, use her bonus action to activate her animated shield, which is. Okay very flourishy and just kind of hangs out with her and then she's oh. just going to try and hit the lady next to her okay i forgot that i raged so it's another six points of damage by the way <laughs> oh okay wait so first hit with her great axe is a 15 to hit 15 hits okay so is that this is your plus is this great axe magic it is not so, this okay. is probably disappointing, but um, it's 15 points of non-magic slashing. Okay, it does not seem to quite, like, catch hold of her as much as you would expect. Uh, she's gonna try again. Mm -hmm. And that would be a whopping 11 to hit. That misses, I'm She was discouraged when it whiffed through the first oh. one. And... Knowing that she has no magic weapons. So with her eagleness, um, I think she can try and go away with, um, and the lady would have a disadvantage on opportunity attacks on her. Let me have a look. So. Is that part of her beast? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where it is. It'll be in. Oh uh, no! Right? Just kidding. It's it's. I have to be raging. So she's just gonna ah, stand okay. there and, and look flashy with yeah. her shield and hope for the cool. best. Cool. Sweet. Shasta. So Shasta is going to shrivel a bit and says, "I don't like this. They're all mean, and I think that Kovic needs to take care of this." And as he says that, like his form starts to puff a little bit, his mane starts to puff, and his whimper is starting to sound like a growl. And you hear his voice go, Who the fuck bothered my brother? And yeah. he's going to leave, he, like his nails are going to grow a few inches and he's going to jump on the back of the big winged guy. All right. Okay. And with his claws, her. going to grab, grip at the throat and splash. Okay. So first claw is going to be 20 to hit. That hits. Uh, you get advantage for flanking, right? I do. Mm. You do. Which makes uh, no difference. And the second one is going to be uh, 17 to hit. That misses. That 
misses. So the did first you roll one that with of... it? Did you roll it with advantage? I did. Okay. So for the second cool. one, he kind of trips and misses his mark, but for the first one, he's going to let it rip for uh, nine points of slashing damage. Cool. Very nice. And that, that's my turn. Awesome. Magma. Uh, miss, you look like old girlfriend, and she left me so quick with my wet with my ex. Let me get her. Okay. Come on, baby. baby. Twenty nine. This is magic X. Plus three. Okay. Plus magic. Yep. Yeah. Twenty nine definitely hits her. Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, and that is two two handed. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, so that's not very many. That's twelve. Okay. No, aging. So never mind. Um, cool. Twelve, and then I'm going to um, produce flame. Mhm. Mm and just grab her. Mhm. Mm that is. A 26. Yep, that hits. And that will be... Uh... 12 damage. As you hit her with the fire, you notice mm -hmm. that as you touch her, the, like, snowy whiteness of her kind of seems to dampen some of the fire. It mm -hmm. does take, you can feel her, like, she, like, hisses and pulls back, but it's definitely not as impressive not as, as you okay. perhaps had hoped. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. All right, that brings us to the last monster on the field. This chap with the mouths. He is terrible. He is called a gibbering mouther. So as Ew. he approaches, his mouths are all going. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> all of them are making that horrible noise. He is going to, oh. who are we going for? Oh, I mean, you're right there, Rosie. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, interesting. All right. That's a sound. All right. He's he's going to bite you. We're going to start with the bite. So he's going to come over here and he's going to bite you. Or attempt to. See how that goes. 12. <laughs> Armor class is 20. <laughs> okay, wow. he does not bite you. Nice. <laughs> However, cool. he is, in his anger at not being able to bite you, he, like, hurls a, he, like, spits out a globule of spit, and it lands... Ew. ...on my shield. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> it is going to land... Right here. Oh, Which means I need Jed, are you in on the spider right now? I am on the spider. So I need you, Rosie, and Goo Pricks to make a Dex Darity save, please. Could he could theoretically as he's looking around the battlefield and reacting to the rage, would he be able to see it? I mean Yes, I guess. Oh. Why? What's I, the difference? I have advantage on dex against <laughs> dex effects. Uh, you can see yeah. what I'm not So what happens it. is there's this like jet of spittle and then it lands on the ground and there's this flash of light. <laughs> what we got? Uh, 22. That oh. saves. Oh. 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 Um. Oh. <laughs> what was that, Rosie? 12. 12. 12 does not save. I'm going to use oh, my no. fanatical focus reroll. Okay. <laughs> fail a saving throw while you're raging. You can reroll and must use the new roll. All right. <laughs> I rolled what? a three and a five last time and a two and a four this time. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, cool. So, Rosie and Vuprix, you... Uh, as as you like turn to see this thing of spit and it lands on the ground and there's a flash of light, you are both blound, blounded, blinded, blinded by the light until the creature's next turn. 
Oh, nice. Oh. So that means you automatically fail any ability check that requires sight, and attack rolls against you have advantage, and your attack rolls have disadvantage. I forgot I had disadvantage because I was poisoned. Oh, uh, yep. So help me remember that. Yep. I'm sorry. I should make a note. I, will, I, I did. <laughs> okay. I just noticed it. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Vuprix and Rosie are blinded. Magna is poisoned. Till the mouth is next turn. That's a cool ability. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Magma is it is a recharge thing, so I have to roll on its next yeah. turn to see if it gets it back. But yeah. Alright. Um that is his turn, which brings us back to top with the horn devil. Mm. He is going to now that you're blind, <laughs> he has advantage on attack rolls against you. He's gonna Ooh. try try again with the fork fork tail situation. I will however use my reaction for Sentinel and give him a melee attack because he attacks somebody that is not me. Nice. Okay. Cool. Whoop. I picked up a one for the Alright. Alright, so that is a Yes. Uh, let's do that first, because doing two things at once. It was a 23 to hit you, Mike. Uh, yep. Yep. But do your damage first, Lionel. Uh, 10 slashing damage. You stay with me. <laughs> cool. Um, sweet, so the first one hit. This is the second one. Oh, this is better. That is a 28 to hit. Yup. And then the tail. Twenty mm, one. Uh, yes, just just barely. Okay, cool. So the first hit is seventeen points of piercing damage. Uh, with the fork. Is it magical? Go ahead. I don't think so. Okay, so just halved. a trident, and then another. 19 points of piercing damage, so 10 for you. Okay. And then the tail is 8 points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a con save, please. That's a 20, uh, 28. Okay, so you save. Lucky, because that's a freaking intense thing. <laughs> wow. Alright. Uh,. That's his turn. That brings us to the other demon. She's gonna just hang out there and shoot her longbow, because that seems smart. Uh, so, how many times? Three attacks. So she's gonna go one on Magma, one on Shasta, one on... Uh, two on Shasta, because I don't think the others are. So one on Magma, two on Shasta. Mm-hmm. First one on Magma. 12. <laughs> Two on Shasta. That's better. 24 and 28. Hits and hits. Cool. I need you to make a con save, please. Okay. Uh, 26. That succeeds. Uh, so that is... Maths! 31 points of piercing damage from both. Reduced to 15 because I'm raging. Yep. And... 12... 15... 15 points of poison damage. Okay. But you are not poisoned. It's just a one sort thing. Because you saved. Calric! Yes. All right. So as my bonus action this round, I will rage. And oh. that sets off uh, wild magic. So uh, let's see what happens. So I roll a d8 and figure out what's going to happen on the field. So it's a three. So an intangible spirit, which looks like a flute, appears within <laughs> five, five feet of one creature of my choice that I can see within 30 feet. 
And at the end of my current turn, the spirit explodes and each creature within five feet of it must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take some force damage. Um, and then I, I can use I this feature. <laughs> I can use this feature each time at the end. So I am going to put it behind the um, Hang on. I'm trying to find thing. something that is appropriate. I don't have Jen, a floomph. Jen, you got a floomph you okay. can send her. <laughs> no, I don't. No, that's fine. I will right. give you instead an air elemental because that seems... Sounds I thought good. I might have an octopus, but I don't even have an octopus. So where are we? i tell you what. Really? <laughs> I know I should have one because of the Rufuses, but... Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Just bring up um, Kelrick. Save. Yes. There we go. So you should be able to put it wherever you want now. You should be able to okay, move your. Okay. So it's going to be there. Oh, so at the end can... of my turn, we'll make him make a dexterity check. Yep. Saving so throw. yeah, yeah. Same as with the horde. Your extra right. guys do things at the end of your turn, regardless of what it says, because otherwise I get confused. Yes. And so now he will attack twice to this guy right here. The madcap. Yeah, but that boots. was all of a. That's a 13, that's not gonna that go. That does not hit. <laughs> and the second one is a 21. That does hit. Okay. And that is... 1d10 plus 10. So that's 15 points of slashing damage. Um, He's looking pretty hurt at this point. Sadly, that is all I've got, because... Yeah. He's very angry about it, and still swearing at you, but he is clearly in pain. Bits of him are starting okay. to fall off. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that brings us to the Snow Maidens. They are not very oh, strong. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. The, yes. the, the mouse guy. Oh, that, yep. Yeah, the mouse Sorry, guy has yep. to make a dex the save. Mouth guy. <laughs> Alrighty. Mouth guy. Your decks, buddy. Ugh. Eight. Uh, okay, he failed. So he mm -hmm. takes uh, four points of force damage. Okay. Oh, I just and saw then, a thing on his thing that I didn't use last time. Never mind. Four and points. The, um, the floomph disappears. Okay. Oh, so it only lasts Until a single round. Turn. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh. Until my next turn, and I'll bring him back. So, you know. Okay, yeah. we'll leave him there then. Yeah. All right. That's your turn? Yep. Snow Maidens. Life Drain. They can only do the one thing, really. <laughs> so they're going to do it again to the people closest to them. Rosie and Magma. So, Rosie. 13. Armor class is 20. Magma. 8. <laughs> That was them. Who pricks? <laughs> All right. Uh, bonus action being blind. Rupix just going to let out a, uh, a guttural roar moo thing and do yep. uh, zealous presence. Uh, yep. Everyone within uh, 60 feet of me now have advantage on attack rolls and saving throws until the start of my next turn. Thanks, man. So, nice. the, the disadvantages Yay. are uh, awesome. negated. Cool. I assume you mean by everyone, your friends. Yes, all, everyone of my choice. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there, there. <laughs> and cool. he is just going to swing blindly at the uh, horned, horned devil. Horned. Yep. Go for so, it. straight roll. Uh, that's a 30. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be uh, 13 points of slashing magical. Cool. Uh, one point of necrotic. And cool. 11 points of radiant. Cool. And second attack. Mm hmm. Uh, that's a 23 to hit. <laughs> yes. That'll be. Uh, 18 points of slashing and six points of necrotic. This guy is starting to look like he's in pain. He's having a bad day. He's not happy about it. 
that your turn? That's my turn. The madcap. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, come on. Why'd you do that? He's gonna definitely swing a sickle at you. I don't think he can kick you again, though. <laughs> I think he can only <laughs> kick you when he runs up to you. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yep, so he's just gonna swing a sickle at you three times. So that is... 18. Yeah. Then they all hit. That was the lowest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um... Alrighty. Not a lot of damage. He's very enthusiastic, but not actually that strong, so... <laughs> 18 points of slashing damage in total from all three. Alright. Minus 9, so 9 points. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Yep. He's, cool. he's very, um, dedicated. But it's not... He's little, and he's just like... Mm -hmm. Just like swinging at you like crazy, but yeah, it's it's cute. It's kind of cute. Yeah, like I'm sorry, I have to kill you, but I really do. <laughs> Jed, you're up. Rosie, you're next. Be ready. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try and bite this guy. I, 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 you I, are, or your spider is. I am with my oh, with mandibles. your scary mandibles. Yep. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> so natural twenty. Oh Ooh. my god. <laughs> So awesome! I, I need him to also make a Constitution saving throw cool. for my infectious fairy. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, is it is it poison? Uh, psychic. Oh, okay, just checking. Uh, <laughs> that is fourteen. That fills. It's psychic because it's so disturbing to see. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> He's, he's good at poison. He's not so good at psychic. <laughs> an eight, so it's twenty-one um, flashing, and uh, -huh. uh thirty-four psychic. Wow. Okay. So you I bite this guy, <laughs> and he recoils back from you holding his head in pain and goes like swears something in infernal and then pff, disappears he is Yay. gone from the field nice work all right oh. anything else uh that was a perfect timing Ooh. it was <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to swing my tail at this uh no maiden that's bothering the little one <laughs> has reach. Oh, the little one. <laughs> <laughs> Your tail has reach, I assume. Ah, uh, yes, ten feet. Okay, cool. Nice. Because I it. have, yeah. Uh, yep. that's uh a twenty-four to hit. Yep. Goes away. Um, okay. only seven points. Oh, um, slashing. Okay. Kind of partially passes through her, but it sort of <laughs> catches hold of her at the same time. So it's done damage, but not what perhaps you might expect. Yeah. Cool. Rosie, Doctor, you're okay. next. Okay, so Rosie's going to um, attack the red spitting guy, and yep. so That's she's going to do she's going to bonus action rage. She's like, "You're pissing me off, man!" And she's going to try and hit the first one with reckless. So that's um, 25 to hit. Yup. <laughs> Absolutely, that hits. For um, 13 points of fla slashing damage. Okay. And then she's going to try and hit him again. And I cannot reckless that one, right? It's only one time for reckless, right? Actually, sure. I assume so. I thought it okay. said the first attack is. I think it's the first okay. attack. Yeah. When you make yep. your okay. first attack on your turn, you can yep. decide to make it reckless. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's still pretty mad. So it's a twenty-seven to hit. Yeah. <laughs> and um, eight points of slashing. 
Cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, th this guy is not fast, and he's also extremely squishy in the worst kind of way. Ew. Like, when you hit him, he makes squishy noises. It's unpleasant. Oh, mm. I have Sorry. I, <laughs> I have sound issues. This is, like, the worst possible. It's like that's sitting next to somebody sticks their lips when they're eating. I can't stand sitting next to somebody eating, yeah. If you ever wanted to All see right. Christy rage, like, this would be it. Oh, like... okay. <laughs> Disophonia. Yeah, you man. You can thank my dice yep. for this creature. Anyway. Oh, yep. golly. Okay. Um, Sorry. Good news, and... you get to kill it. <laughs> yeah, <we're... laughs> Probably. Probably. Um... <laughs> and... I think... So I'm blind, so even yeah. if they had disadvantage on a, a me to escape, they would have advantage because I'm blind, right? Correct. So it would be canceled okay. out. So it would I'll be a straight put. roll. Yeah. I'll stay put. Alrighty. Thank you. Shasta, Magma, you're next. There is no Shasta, only Kovic. I will run to that bitch down there. Okay. Galloping through the the, the grass and throw two like claws attack at her. First attack. That's a natural twenty. Nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which is going to be. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, and since I have brutal critical, um, uh, twenty points of slashing damage. Sorry. Nice. Math. Very nice. Uh, I, yep. Mm -hmm. I need you. To, I need her to make a wisdom saving throw, or I'm going okay. to dump uh, infectious fury into that. Why does it keep doing this to me? Sorry, I'm having some issues with D&D Beyond being difficult. Not a problem. Please hold. <laughs> Please hold for internet problems. <laughs> oh, look at that. I have things that I hadn't noticed because no one's attacked her yet. Oh, that's a four. <laughs> she fails, which brings her to... Uh, oh, wait, wait. 14. Is this a magical effect? Uh, no, it's just a special effect. Alright. <laughs> Let me see. No, just special. Oh. So she gets All 14 right. points of uh, psychic damage. Okay. Now second attack, reckless, with my claws again. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that reckless. Uh, 21 to hit. 21. She is going to use her parry reaction, which I forgot about mm -hmm. earlier, to add 4 to her AC, which means it misses. Okay. And as a bonus, ac bonus action... No, I'm no, going... no. I take it back. She can't do that because she's holding a longbow. Never mind. Okay. It hits. So it hits. It hit. My bad. I didn't read it properly. Not a problem. Which brings us to uh, 8 slashing damage. Mm -hmm. And still holding parts of her face, I'm just going to roar into her face to try to scare her with a daunting roar. Okay. Uh, she needs to hold up. Wait a second, caller. Where is it? I'm sorry. Daunting roar. Uh, wisdom saving throw, please. Oh my god, that's another two on the die. Eight. She is now scared of me until the next my next turn. Cool. Perfect timing for all the right. roar, too. Yep. And that, <laughs> He's that having will fun. Be all. Okay. And he's still holding her face with the claws in the eyes. Mm. All right, magma. Um, okay, so I was at disadvantage, but then because of Volprix, I am not, and yeah. I just straight so, roll. Straight yeah, roll. So. Okay, so I'm um, just gonna do two axe attacks at my little snow queen here. Mm-hmm. That is a 26. That definitely hits. Or... He's rolling low, 12 points of damage. Did you say 12? Yes. She evaporates screaming. She yeah. just opens her mouth and starts screaming and then the sound disappears as she is gone. Okay. Since I was doing two hand 
have you, Adam. <laughs> I'm going to uh, take Wilhelm. my movement over here. Yep. Cool. And now, do I get advantage? No, it doesn't stack. Blanking? It's just stack? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It doesn't stack. Because you've got right. disadvantage and advantage. It, right, yeah. right, right, right. Sandwich. You can't stack okay. them up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a two, but I do have a sixteen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that hits her. Yep, that okay. hits her. Okay. Okay, so that is gonna be fifteen damage. He also screams and disappears. Nice work. Nice work. All right, so okay. we're down one horned devil. We're down two snow maidens. Yeah, those snow maidens are bitches. <laughs> cool. <laughs> they are cold bitches. That cold brings bitches. us. Is that all you've got? For now, I'm good for now. Yes. That brings <laughs> us to the gibbering Martha. Oh, and the thing yeah. I forgot to do on his last round. Oh no. Anyone yeah, within 20 feet of him right now oh, yay. Yay, must so make glad a, a <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Please. Okay, so my... As the sound of um... his mouths apparently starts to make you a bit kooky. <laughs> oh my gosh, this oh. is like my worst okay. nightmare. Do you want me to roll for my, my spider? My disadvantage was for ability sure. checks, not saving throws, is that right? Yes. Okay, so I can just roll straight um, wisdom yeah. save. Oh, it's oh, against being a... frightened. No, it's not against being frightened. Okay. A for effort. A seven. Oh. <laughs> it's against being squicked. <laughs> oh, I got a ten. <laughs> ten just succeeds. A seven oh, does four. not. Thank goodness. Oh. Okay. Oh. Is he, is I rolled a natural twenty for my spider, and I am a uh, nine. Oh no! <laughs> so, I need. So, both of you cannot take reactions until the Martha's next turn. Okay. By the way, those of you who are blinded are no longer blinded because that ended at the end of his last turn. Um, and I need you each to roll me a d8. A d8. To establish what it is you do now that this thing oh, has no. made you kooky. Four. Seven. Oh, no. Eight. So, I heard a four. Four. Four, you do nothing. Okay. You just stand there for your turn. Okay. I heard eight. Eight. The creature makes a melee attack against a randomly determined creature within its reach, or does nothing if it can't make such an attack. So you mm. will roll for who you hit, basically. Uh, that's seven. Okay, seven's the same. Okay. As that, yeah. So you attack randomly someone within your melee reach if there is someone there otherwise you don't do anything make sense cool now it's gonna bite rosie mm, I, this guy. <laughs> I don't blame you yeah. <laughs> uh, that's uh, an 11. nope and i'm gonna roll to see if it gets its blinding spittle back it does not I think so. all right that's what it's called! Blinding that Spittle! hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> that brings us back to the top, and now that this lady has someone in range with her... Ah, did it to me again! Why? <laughs> Just work! Alright. Um, she... is going to... She is going to use her. S no, she's not. You know what? She's actually going to just ignore you and attack. Can she do that? C keep firing arrows. Otherwise, she has to like stow and. I don't know how that works. Are you talking to off? the one at the bottom? Yep. Yeah. Doesn't I mean, she, she have disadvantage? What she yeah. has disadvantage while I'm still in her uh, vision because she's scared of me. Oh. Does. Yes. Right. Does she have to move away? She, she can just can't try. move towards you, right? <laughs> she can she cannot move freely right? towards me. Yeah. All right. She is going to <laughs> attempt to fire arrows at Vuprix. 
-hmm. Calric and Magma with disadvantage. So, Vuprix. Nineteen? Nope. Calric. Twenty. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. Yes. 20, 22. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Magma, nat 20 on both the dices. Oh my god. We cannot we believe that one. happened, but we'll check it. it. The cool. dice have All spoken. Alright, All right, so. Calric, you take. Mm -hmm. Six points of piercing damage. And that I need you to make three. a constitution save, please. Okay. Ooh, not 20, so that's, uh... Yeah, 20 you're fine. <laughs> so, seven points of poison damage, but you're not poisoned. Magma. You take... Fourteen points of piercing damage. Fifteen... Thirty. Fuck. Sorry, maths is hard. Thirteen. Fifteen plus twenty-four is thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Mm -hmm. Points of poison damage, and I need you to make a con save, please. I'm Dang. still poisoned. Oh, you're already poisoned. So. Yeah, I'm already poisoned. Yeah. However, Ow. however, since she's attacking somebody that is not me, I'm going to sentinel her. I said, yep. no, you're dancing with me, and try to slash her from bottom to top. <laughs> sure, go for it. Uh, 26 to hit. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's uh, 10 slashing damage. Oh. Sweet. Nice. Calric, you're up. Okay, so I'm really frustrated that I haven't killed this little dude yet, but, um... <laughs> So I'll go reckless my first attack on him. Apparently he's very resistant. Uh, yeah, the floof is back up again near the mouth yep, thing. Yep. Um, so uh, 27 to hit for my first one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that is 19 points of damage. Uh, yeah, he is in mid-Sylvan Sway as he vanishes into the ether. <laughs> awesome. Yes, that and I will... Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And I will run this way. Oh, wait, I want to be on this side. And yep. um, attack the other thing. Mm -hmm. uh, that is 22 to hit. Yep. Ooh, that is 20 points of slashing damage. Nice. Nice. Cool. And um, my bonus attack, I'll use the other side, or bonus action, I'll use the yep. other side of my forearm. Uh, and that's a natural 20, but I know nice. the damage is reduced because it's the backhand, so that's... Uh, okay. Ooh. Four. That's 12 points of damage for the cool. backside. Cool. And then a dex check to see if the floomph, he gets attacked by the floomph. Floomph save. <laughs> yeah, floomph save. Oh, she doesn't look at Five. Okay, yeah, he takes the... He takes an additional two points of force damage as the flip nice. explodes. And he will be back. Is looking rough. Teeth are falling out of his many mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Warm Chrissy next time when you're gonna describe that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Bricks. You're up. <clears throat> Jed, you will be next, because the madcap is dead. I can't hear you. I attack a random creature in my area. Oh, yep. Yeah. Which oh, means the spider, because there's just oh. one in in your range, right? Or the spider uh, yeah, or Jed, my... I guess. Yeah. Uh, is Jed well, regardless, you're... Spider? Yeah. Yep. Regardless, uh, it's going to be me, because I can take any attack. Okay. So, okay. attack Jade. That works. 
Um, 31. Oh, holy smokes. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. Uh, so that's 18 points of slashing. Mm -hmm. And two points of, of necrotic. Let's say you make a melee attack, so I will allow you to just do the one. Unless you particularly want to do all of them. No, I re Could I actually... Because it just says melee. Could I actually try to gore with my horns instead of the axe? I mean, I feel like in good faith you should attack with as much oomph as you okay. could. <laughs> oh, with, with with as much oomph as I could? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then an additional uh, 11 points of necrotic. And they are all magical. Alright. That's my turn. Good. <coughs> you can okay. roll a D6. Well, I also have, yeah, I have the 10 foot of reach. So. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That... So there's three. Uh, so oh. so te technically, you could also hit the mouth there. So I would say roll a D4. Okay. On a four, you hit the mouth there. On a one, you hit Rosie. <laughs> on a two, you hit Shelly. On a three, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Oh. All right. Cool. Bring it. Sorry. Uh, uh, tiger's eye. Come here, you. That is a 15. Uh, nope. 20. Okay. Nope. Do you want me to do it again? Because she technically has two attacks. Sure. For oh, the fun. Even worse. Two attacks? Uh, fun. I'm a, a one that hits is good enough. Okay. What was that? It was worse. I rolled a okay. natural one, so. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Rosie, you're I'm up. Good. It is Rosie's life mission to kill this asshole next to her and <laughs> vindicate Shut all the love to her. So she's going to roll reckless. For a 21 to hit. That definitely hits. <laughs> and that's um, 12 points of slashing. Rosie. It has to be said. I've been trying very hard not to use this sentence because it's not my sentence, but how do you want to do that? <laughs> she, like, totally Wonder Woman spins and she just hacks the crap out of this little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it it absolutely. I have ever had in a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> this thing just explodes and disappears into the wind. It is gone. Okay. Right. This is my daughter in a restaurant. She brings headphones with her everywhere. Do you have yeah. anything else it. on your list? Do you have anything um, else you would like to do? You're very far away from the only other bad guy. Yeah. I th I think she'll just take a minute to collect herself. Cool. And yeah. I guess Shasta, I can move. You can move. Yeah. Um. You can start heading that way if you wish. Okay. Uh, blinded with rage, he's going to try to plunge his paws inside her mouth and separate her jaw. Oh, I could have so run attack. Two claws attack. First one is 28. Second yep. one is, ooh, 17. That misses. Okay, so just the bottom one, trying to lower it mm -hmm. to the ground. Mm -hmm. Which makes uh, 12 points of uh, slashing damage. Oh. And I need her to make a wisdom saving throw for another infectious fury. That is good. Um, it was a 17 on the die. I think she has plus six. Nah, she, saves. she saves. Yeah. That's my That's turn. That's it. Okay, Magma. I got the don't do anything on my turn. Oh, you do nothing on your turn. That brings us to our girl. He's gonna shoot. And therefore gets an attack. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> twice at Rosie because she is approaching and once at Magma. So, once at Magma with disadvantage because of the thing. Uh, that's a natural one. 
twice at Rosie. Oh my god. Not, not enough. And again, also not enough. She misses a oh, lot. Is what happens. Thank you, Cheryl. Does your attack go off even if she misses? Yes. Uh, 19. Okay, go for it. Yep. Okay. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, 7 points of slashing. It all counts, man. Cool. Pelric. Pupric, yes. you're next. Alright, so I can't reach her, but let's see, I can go 40 feet. Uh -huh. So I can get here. <laughs> <laughs> they closed in on. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I'm going to lose my rage, but I am going to use bolstering magic so I can touch myself. And um, <laughs> for 10 Here's minutes, when, I know, right? For 10 minutes, I can um, roll a D3 whenever I'm making an attack roll on ability check and add that to my D20 roll. So three, mm -hmm. I know it's like a half d6, roll a d6, okay. whatever it happens. Yeah, yep, yeah. all right, yeah, cool. So, yeah, that's, that's turn. my turn. I don't have anything else I can do to get there. So, all right, Vuprix, so. Jed, you're up next. So, Vuprix, in his blind rage, is going to he's no longer blind, he's still raging though. So, it's a okay. blind, yep. blind rage idea. Yep. All right. He's going to spend i think it's 45 movement to here and then he's going to turn and charge right into her and uh, using his action to dash and try to gore her with his horns okay um so that will be um it's a 17 to hit that misses. Oh, damn. I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> what yeah, else you so got? That's, that's you. That's action. <laughs> um, what else? Who wants have to know, know if we're doing the Rubik's actions? cube? <laughs> nope. I don't have anything else. Nope. That's that's it. All right, Jed. Rosie, you're up next. Just gonna okay. smoke in her face. So, I have a question. Since yes. I'm riding my spider over there, can I only mm -hmm. move its movement? Or can yes. I have it... Okay. <laughs> it's doing the movement, so you can move the spider's movement, not your own. Unless you jump off. Well, I meant, like, could I ride it over there and then jump off? Yeah! Okay, and well, then I'm gonna ride it over there, and then I'm gonna jump off. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're stuck behind it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, cool. And then I'm just gonna whack her. Oh. Whack a monster. That's what it's called. Whack a monster. Whack a monster. Uh, 19 to hit. Yep. Okay. okay. 12 points of slashing damage. Yep. Okay. Don't want to do it one more time. Mm hmm. For uh, to hit is um, da, da, ba, ba, 29. Yes. <laughs> For 19 points of slashing damage. Nice. Yeah. She's, she's, she's starting to look slightly panicky <laughs> about the situation. <laughs> uh, right. Rosie, you're up. Shasta, you're on deck. Gonna go here. And... <laughs> she just surrounded <laughs> And I don't have to, yeah, as I say, I, have to, I don't have to reckless it, right? Because it's an advantage. No. Yep. Oh, yeah, I forgot it was that advantage. So 21 to hit? Yep. Um, 11 points of slashing. Nice. I'm going to whack her again. Yep. Um, 21 to hit. Yep. Ooh, and 17 points of slashing. Nice. She is looking very hurt. At this point in time, Dasta, Magma, you're next. Uh, I will try to strangle her with my tail. Oh, for my first attack. <laughs> okay. Goodness. Uh, 
twenty twenty nine to hit. Yes. Uh, and for the tail attack, that's going to be fuck's sake, uh, nine points of uh, piercing damage because it goes like straight to the carotid. Yep. Yep. She's still she's Ow. still standing. Yes. Ish. Okay. Okay. Second <laughs> attack. Tail again. This time mm -hmm. trying to whip straight into at her face. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not as good. That's uh, 18 to hit. 18 just hits. All right. Uh, for again nine points of slash uh, piercing damage. She is barely standing at this point in time. Her knees are shaking, but she is still upright. Her wings are like flapping, but they're like it's hard. Magma. I'm gonna move my 45 feet up to here, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna throw my javelin. Okay. I'm within 30 feet of her now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, is that the camel? Is a brand new die? Got a pretty little, pretty little symbol on it. I think that's a fully one. It's usually a 20. It's a pretty symbol. Yes. So that's a 31 to hit. Yeah, uh, yeah. And um, so 11, 18 damage. 18 points of damage. You will watch mm -hmm. as this javelin hits her, <laughs> and she screams in infernal, and then disappears, and the javelin just moves right through her and lands in the ground. And as she disappears, you hear, Wonderful! What delightful warriors you all are! Excellent work! Our next game is much more based on your strength as a group. But we will get to that after a break. <laughs> uh -oh. So we're going to take a break, because that was quite a lot of combat. Um, yes. Humans of the internet, welcome! To Birds of a Feather, the Barbarian Edition, where we have six barbarians who have been kidnapped by some sort of mysterious circus guy who is making them play games. So far, we have played Wheel of Fortune and Whack a Monster. <laughs> we have two more games left. Are we ready to find out what they are? Before we do that, though, yep. let's oh, draw our giveaway, okay. yes. which is yes, 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 yes. a portrait commission. From Sean Alley Ogle. Who is Chinese. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And if you have not already seen her work, you should 100% go and have a look. Oh! Jesus. Mike, <laughs> that's so not exciting. even scary. He's Mike, so excited. He wanted it so bad. He did. It. He wanted it so badly. Congrats. Well so get in, get in touch with her about the details of that. Yes. Cool. Oh, look, she knows, because that's her brand word. Please <laughs> message me and tell me yes. if I said your name right. I just realized, I was like, oh my god, I've only ever read it. <laughs> what if I've said it wrong in my head all this time? Anyway, um, okay, so you have all just... Oh, the other thing we're going to do is the person who won the Snicker Snack is not in the chat anymore, or doesn't appear to be. Um, but also, it's, um, I did not plan that entirely well, because this was the big combat game. So what we're going to do instead is that you can gift that to any Horde member. So oh, someone in the Horde yeah. can get the Snicker oh. Snack. Which is an awesome item. And great so fun. So much opportunities for shenanigans. So mm. much. And I look forward to playing not one but two sentient swords over the next right? week. <laughs> so many sentient swords. Um, so, and apparently a, a plant at some point. Um, so, nope. yes. Nope. Nope. Get in touch with us and let us know who, or, or we'll get in touch with you in Discord. Um, all isn't, right. Is, isn't Archer's sword that I gave him sentient also? Didn't that have that had a no? Yeah, it has a sentience, but not like an actual like intelligent sentience. It not like a personality. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, I get feelings from it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Which I haven't really role played at all. Nah, that's okay. But that's okay. Right. Um, she has enough sentient can't... swords. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, do I? Do I? Anyway, <laughs> um, 
So, you have successfully defeated the monsters in Whack-A-Monster. He is very pleased with you, and he has told you that your next um, game will be about strength. And the world around you shimmers and disappears and is replaced by a canyon. And you just are all before, on one side. Yes. Just before dropping rage, uh, Kovic would actually turn to the big bull man and say, you keep Shosta safe. Ah, I, I, I can do that. Yeah, I'll keep him safe. All right. You turn it, bro. He just like calms down and his complete demeanor changes. It's like, is it done? Are we done? It, it's done yeah. for now, Shasta. Your, your brother did great. Wow. I know. He's very brave. <laughs> okay. What do we do? So you find oh, yourselves on the edge of a canyon. If you look down, it is a long way down. There appears to be some sort of river. It is a very long way down to the river. You would get some like vertigo if you peer over the edge too much. And there is a what looks like a railway bridge. But the middle is gone. It's a big freaking hole in the ground. And the man are the, stands. Are the pillar still there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the man stands there and he says, For this game, we are going to test your strength. And he sort of waves a hand, and you see, appearing on the other side, one, two, three, four giants, oh, and a rope, no. a rope oh, that goes from them and lies on the track in front of you. And he says, it's a simple tug of war. <laughs> Just don't fall down. Rosie's the anchor. <laughs> and Betsy B be a part of it. Ball. I, do, I have the ring. And I have winged boots. Oh, wow. He says, mm, I think in this case, perhaps just you, not your spider. That does seem a little unfair. They don't have a spider. Shall I give them a spider? A giant cur? No? Excellent. Well, in that case, you may decide what order you'd stand in, of course. Okay, I'm probably the All seriousness, what? I'm assuming I could be in the front. I think it's better if I go to the back, because if I go to the front, you don't see all this, the show. Because I'm big. So I will go to the back so you can see stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think this is a um, thing where we necessarily need to see the show. Uh, we need to be smart about this now. Um, well, uh, we need someone strong in the back, that's for sure, because they're the, they're the anchor to hold back to, in case we start to slip. Um, but we want a strong front, too. Uh, hmm. Uh, uh. Hmm. If if I could have rain that you fall gently, I'm happy to go in front. Okay, you can have that. My strength is twenty, so I can be. I weigh nothing, but I'm strong. <laughs> I I know three of us got at least a twenty-five, right? Because mm -hmm. we all three of us got the belt. No, I mm -hmm. switched out the belt for a lower belt. <laughs> okay. I'm 25 strength. That's a big one. Same. 23. Uh, 18. So I might be the weak link. All right, you go in the middle. Yeah, we, we middle. put you in the yeah, middle. Yeah, exactly. In the middle. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm happy to go wherever, but, you know, one of the big things with this, we have to work together. Right? We've got to we've yes. got to talk to each other. Okay. Uh, so... I will, uh, I'll go in the, the middle, yeah? That, that work, and then, uh, 
Oh, goodness. Pronouncing names isn't what I'm good at. I'm good at remembering them, but pronouncing them. Uh, Magma, you want to be in the front, right? Yes, I can be in the front. And then uh, Shasta, you want to be back? Yeah, yes, if possible. Thank you. Uh, uh, Rosie, you want to be uh, behind uh, Magma? Sure. Uh, Jed, you want to be in front of Shasta? And then uh, Kelrick, you want to be behind me or do you want to be in front of me? Uh, I'll go behind you if you don't mind. Not at all. Alright, where am I? Dead as I, does that work with you? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't mean to take charge here, but I, I, I just kind of thinking the better we get going, the better we all, off we are, right? All makes yeah, sense to for me. sure. Who is, who is not on track? Who is that? That's so, Shasta. That's Shasta. Oh, Shasta. oh we are going, that. Shasta? He was just looking at a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, the way this works is you will each roll a strength check, and the giants will each roll a strength check, and I will do some maths, and we'll decide, and each check will be a five foot shift. Is it a check or a saving throw? It's a check. Okay. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> so. I will get each of you to roll a check, please. Mm -hmm. Strength. Okay, I need can, can, can we rage? Can we rage? Yeah. You can, rage. if you wish. Rage. But you yes. have to maintain it, and you're not going to be being attacked. Oh, right. So you may only get yeah. however many rages you have left in your arsenal. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. So, right. Maybe, I'll, maybe I will save for a key moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Not good. Rosie's raging. So. Oh my god. That's 22. Uh, so just... Uh... Ooh, 25. 23? Hang, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Jedaziah, it says uh, you, you now have the snickersnack. So, oh. oh, does does that yeah. go to Zinkela then, or are we? I'm not sure if Justin heard our change think... in plans. So perhaps we shall have that conversation in Discord mm. and just check. Yeah, that might be easier. Yeah. Alrighty. Um. So. Well, I didn't do super well. Right, what we got. Mike, let's start with you. Well, uh, I wasn't quite ready. Uh, I got a 12. Magma? 25. Rosie? 23. Helric? 22. Shasta? 23. Jed? 22. I don't even need to do the maths for that one um you all pull really freaking hard and you manage to pull all the giants i'm in the wrong layer five feet forward and you can all move five feet back good job guys yay As I raised that, was... Green. <laughs> that, was... that was great wow uh... this is fun i like it the so giants all scream together, and rage from the other side you just hear this roaring like Rah! in anger and they're going to try again and presumably so are you don't be mm -hmm. sour pusses right. it's a game oh natural tone as, as they come closer oh. i say drastically good news everyone my dice rolling is as good as ever <laughs> yay good news everyone Ooh, sorry Ooh, magma got a little fucky there oh no uh oh <laughs> Uh, all right, hit me, Mike. Oh, it's going uh, to he... use luck. Wait, wait, wait. I use luck. Okay, <laughs> Mike. Oh, it's worse. It's a worse. little, a little more ready. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Magma. Fourteen. Oh, Rosie. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yes, and that, and that raging at the moment. Calric. Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Shasta. Twenty-one. Jed. Well, the natural 20, so 25. Nice. 
Mm -hmm. Alright. Please hold one moment. Sai is trying to help himself by grabbing the rails with his tail and pulling a little bit. <laughs> I feel you like Sai would one's... be like holding his tail like the cowardly lion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, this one is a lot more like of a struggle, but you do manage to pull the giants another five feet. Five feet. Which means this front one is right on the edge at this point. So you can all move five feet back. We're gonna go again. Okay. Okay. I'm <laughs> going to rage. Me too. All right. All right. Yeah, I think I, I will too. Just for insurance. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh God. Well, that was a good one. But it's still yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh wait, if I rage though, hold on. Something's gotta happen. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll get a flunk okay. on our side. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's see what happens when Kelric rages. This time. Get some numbers while you do that. Oh, Mike. Man. Uh who's much more ready that time for a twenty-four. Nice. Magma. Okay, three. Rosie? 19. She's getting tired. Kelrick? Um, that is a, a 20, 20, 30, 20. Pasta? I'm sorry, I slipped. I had a 13. Jed? 21. Nice. What happened with your wild magic? Uh, it infuses one of my weapons with um, additional uh, properties. So like it, it would turn into force damage and it can be thrown. Cool. But awesome. Yeah, that's, that's not going <laughs> to work super in this helpful. instance. Yeah. All right. Um, that was even closer than the last one. The, the rope is like super tight and it goes backwards and forwards a little bit. And then you pull the giants another five feet, and now this Ooh. one has to make a dex save. Oh. Wow. 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 Did she fall? She falls. I don't know. Yeah, Wait, she she falls. I've got to look at her dexterity. Ooh. She kind of tips and then manages to just pull herself back at the last uh, second oh. she's got a little bit she's still got a little bit to stand on there so she's not too bad Ugh. all right let's go <laughs> let's go again oh that's better i'm i'm uh -oh. going to rage again um, i don't want to get falling here we go oh that is bad <laughs> That is better. Yes. Good. Good use of rage. <laughs> I was doing really well, and then I got to the last one. It was like not so well. <laughs> All right. What we got, Mike? Well, that's a uh, that's a twenty-five. Oh, good, Magma. Really? Plenty for Rosie. So I'm guessing on this one, the rope got high enough that her little feet didn't even touch the ground because she got an eight. <laughs> no. Uh, Kalric. Twelve. Yeah, he slipped a little. Oh no. Know. Shasta. Nineteen. Jed. Twenty. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. This could be interesting. Mm. Sorry, team. We hit some rough. It's okay, we're still winning. It's okay, yeah, you spit are. on hand. Alright. <laughs> the giants apparently, having almost lost their front person, have rallied, and they managed to pull back another five ah. feet, pulling all of you five right. feet towards them. Mm. Hey. <clears throat> 
Alright, guys. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Alright. We'll get him in the next one. Alright. And we go again. <laughs> I'm gonna use my last rage. Oh my thing. god. That involves a natural 20 and a natural 1. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yes, I have. What I might as well use know. rage. Yes, I'm going to yeah. use it up. Oh, yes, that was terrible. <laughs> Me too. Oh, that's very nice, yes. Don't forget you have luck. Yes. Oh, I will actually Wait. use my Twitch inspiration on this one. How many times do you have luck? Yes. I have three mm -hmm. and I have only used one. Okay. All right. I'm using my rage right now. Bupryx! Uh, that's a uh, natural 20 for 27. Nice! Mm. Magma! Dirty 20. Rosie! 11. Fired. <laughs> Kalric! <laughs> you had a bit. Also 20. Shasta? 15. I got a rope burn. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Jed? 23. Nice. Alrighty. This is actually really evenly matched. I'm quite pleased. <laughs> Generally speaking, I mean. <laughs> of course, it's only evenly matched because my dice keep betraying me. I'm just going to say. Right. <laughs> oh, that is close. That is close enough that it's a decimal point, you guys. So... <laughs> It pulls backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and then after a moment you manage to pull the giants five feet just oh, yes. forward just and she is going to have to do another dick save. Yes. Yes. Come on, guys. Nah, the horny guy fine. was right. We can make it. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I, I, I did tell you it's a teamwork thing. We're we're gonna get it. Cool. So, she manages to keep her footing at this stage. Um, right. Let's go again, I guess. Alright. <laughs> this is very backwards and forwards. Did I'm you all move back five last, that time? Last rage. Here we go. I will use my new Twitch inspiration to do that. <laughs> and that did not help. Ooh, very nice. Oi. <clears throat> okay. What we got? Who pricks? That's a uh, uh, 26 for me. Wow. Magma. Ooh, it is okay. same for me, 26. Rosie. Ooh, nice. So I had a 1, but with my halfling luck, I have a 14. Okay. Uh, Kelric. Little legs. 17. <laughs> Shasta. 15, and he's very afraid to use his rage again. Aww. So he says it's 15. <laughs> Jed. Alrighty, let's see. I'm pretty sure that's a done deal, to be honest. <laughs> yep. Alright, so. You pull, and they pull, and you pull, and they pull, and then that front giant's foot slips a little. And you manage to pull them five feet. And she is running out of bridge to stand on. So she is going to make another deck save at a much higher DC. She loses her footing and plummets yes. down Yay. into the canyon. And you Yay. watch as she just falls, screaming, ah! into the canyon. Dosvidonia! Is there some crocodiles down? Make a perception check. <laughs> Two. Oh, what you don't know. Map? You're focused on the, the task at hand. Mm-hmm. All right, this is going to become much more difficult for them now. Because <laughs> they're one person oh, now. Yeah. So, let's go again. 
Okay. They're All also right, the so strongest. Blades. Oh my god, really? Ooh. Oh, we need to move oh. back one. We go back, okay. Holy crap. I don't think I even need to add for this one. Uh, Who pricked? I don't know. That's a, well, that, that's a 17. Oh, maybe I do. Magma. <laughs> 19. Rosie? I had another natural one, but with my luck, it was uh, um, like a 12. Yeah. Oh, MVP. No. Tug of War MVP right here. <laughs> he still got better than me with a, a whopping nine. Did you roll? Did you also uh, roll on that one? Okay. No. <laughs> Shasta? I don't have the strength of these guys. 21. Should we see if the person who fell is okay? Maybe they hurt themselves. We'll check we on them did. afterwards. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Her game. We will check on her game. They're better than me. I, I got a seven. A seven? Ooh. Okay. I didn't think I was going to have to add, but apparently I do have to add. <laughs> We're running out of steam. Yep. <laughs> it's not great, you guys. It's not great. No, that was not a good... <laughs> Them or Everyone's us. getting tired, apparently. Yep. Yeah. Can't never could. Okay. So everyone's getting very tired at this point, and so it's a bit more of a struggle. But they're one person down, and that was their strongest giant. So you managed Ooh. to pull them another five feet across. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Is it... Good job, comrades. All right. Ooh. All right, we're gonna go again. Oh no! Nice. <laughs> yes. Okay, he's better. Two pricks. Well, that's a uh, that's another natural twenty for twenty-seven. Nice. Uh, Magma. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Rosie. Um, seventeen. Ooh, good job, Rosie. Calric. Getting your second one. Um, yeah. yeah, he sort of slips a little, and he's got a uh, eight. <laughs> oh. Seventeen. Dead. It's just a 13. 13. It's okay, Spider Lady. We're still winning. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, <laughs> they're getting a bit more of like effort back into them, and they like haul on you for it. For a second, you think you're gonna like lose your ground, and then you all manage to pull back, and you do pull them another. Five feet forward. Oh, oh boy. Ooh. Thank goodness. <laughs> Soon Go we're again. running out of choice. Oh wait, he's he's got a he's got a roll the deck save. One second. Oh. He just manages to keep his footing. Oh. Unless he has <laughs> Let me just check his decks. Come on, man. Yep. No, he's good. Alright. Wow. Ready? Pull okay. team, let us do it. Come on. Oh. Jeez. Uh, I, think, I think I need to use the luck on that one. That was a oh no. <laughs> okay, Jeez. that's better. Jeez. Mark off a of luck. Pricks. Uh, that's a uh, 16 for uh, 23. Dirty 20. 13. Uh, Calric. Me. I'm with you right there, Rosie. 13. <laughs> Shasta. I fell to the ground with the natural one because I got scared of the big spider next to me. Oh no. Aww. Okay. Jed. <laughs> There's a spider. What? Right, or the cat. Uh, a 15. 
Cool, cool. Oof. Oh, damn it, it's been so close every time. Okay. Um, you all pull and Shasta falls and his feet like are up in the air and and you all like take a moment to sort of recoup and as you do the giants pull but you manage to just haul them back and nice. you pull them another five feet which means this wow. guy is gonna make a deck oh, save oh he, he loses his footing and he also falls into the canyon screaming oh! and as that happens the other two drop the rope <laughs> and just make like concession faces and mm -hmm. the game master goes hmm, goodness look at you took some time to wipe out some <laughs> tiny little fey and iron boots but give you four giants and you're amazing good job <laughs> excellent work yeah, yeah, yeah. There are two of them that fell. Can you check if they're okay? Oh, yes. And he snaps his fingers and the illusion of the canyon disappears. And you can see these two giants standing, looking really pissed off. In a oh. hole that is only about as deep as they are. Like a 20 foot hole yeah. underneath the bridge. <laughs> with what looks like some kind of silence over them. So it was all just an illusion. And he's like, Haha, I didn't actually intend you to fall to your deaths, dear. Uh, it's just more to... interesting if there are better stakes at hand, you know. Mm-hmm. That's stakes. stakes. So, uh, uh, Vuprix is gonna go to the end of the, like, to the hole, just kind of looking down at them. Yep. So, uh, how's it feel losing to a librarian? <laughs> you fuck. Well, you cannot, turn around and walk you away. cannot hear what they're saying because of the silence that they had over them. <laughs> To prevent them from giving away the fact that there was not, in fact, a canyon there. Um, <laughs> but you can tell from the gestures and the facial expressions that it is not complimentary. And I speak giant, too, so could I try to read the lips? <laughs> Do you have a lip-reading feat or something? I'm no, sure that's I'm, a specific I'm, thing. It, it, it is a feat that you can automatically do it, but, like, could I try to, like, just stare, like, through my intelligence? Make an Inside chick, I think. I'm he good at those. They're the <laughs> giant words. Uh, that's a uh, 12, so 18? Yeah, you can definitely pick out some extremely profane giant swearing going on. <laughs> definitely mm -hmm. references hey. to little men and so on. They, they are not good losers. They are very sore losers. They, they look didn't like petty. losing to a librarian. I don't think they like to lose. I don't think they like losing. Ah, probably not. Me. More upset huh? losing to a halfling. Oh, that's <laughs> gotta be even worse. Uh, Shasta, they're, they're saying some very, uh, uh, well, rude things. Uh, something about being small, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure they challenged my manhood. Um, I'm not even gonna... You mean what? Um, you know, Shasta... We'll yeah. talk about that later. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have this was fun, you guys. I can share with you. <laughs> Do you want a cookie? I have a. Oh, oh no, it broke in the set. Oh, but I have two now. Do you want a cookie? <laughs> uh, who, who are you offering it to? Uh, anyone. I have oh, enough for I everyone mean, now. They all broken. I, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say no to a cookie. He gives it to you, and it looks like this tiny, tiny, small cracker in your hands. <laughs> I think you, you get a pile of cookie crumbs. <laughs> yeah. Well, says the man in the ringmaster suit. There's only one game left. Shall we see if we can kill you with it? <laughs> you can certainly try. And he <laughs> snaps his fingers, and you all find yourselves. Back in the courtyard. Mm. There is, however, no winged lion anymore. Mm. Um, and this time, where the um, Wheel of Fortune was before, there is now one of those carnival-like um, smack the ringy bell gadgets. Yeah? 
to test your strength. Yeah, mm -hmm. those things. And he says to you, this is a very simple one. All you have to do is ring the bell without breaking the bell. If you are not strong enough to ring it, nothing will happen. If you are just strong enough to ring it, you will be freed from this place and you will awaken in your own home with treasures and a few bits and pieces as thanks for your entertaining performance here today. However, if you overextend yourself and the bell breaks, you will find yourself in some pain. So this is not just a test of strength, it is also a test of control. Uh -huh. I just hit it. You're gonna hit it? I'm, I'm asking for clarification. Oh, yes. There's like, it, it's like one of those carnival things. There's like a, a wooden hammer thingy and a gadget that you've got to hit. All right. You mind if She's I... She's gonna uh... do it. Hmm? No, oh, go ahead. okay. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Do I just roll a d20? Roll and... a d20 and add your strength. Okay. I don't Not see the him. prizes, though. Well, the, the prizes just are going to be back where they send us. Hopefully. Oh. And okay. I want to I want to insight the ringmaster on that. Mhm. Mm oh, make an insight check. Uh, that's a seventeen. Hang on, I have to also roll. Um, <laughs> I'm just making notes for myself. Um, I would well, love to have a non plushie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he rolled a, a three on the dice. He is quite charismatic, so we'll call it a... I don't have stats for him because I just made him up. Um, <laughs> we'll call it a ten. Okay. He seems a bit dodgy, but it's hard to tell whether that's just because he is dodgy or whether it's because, <laughs> you know, it's hard to tell whether it's 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 a, a general air of dodginess or whether he's being actively dishonest. So, uh... Well, you're uh, sure that they're gonna be there, the the prizes that is. Of course, absolutely, gold and items befitting your warrior status. In your case, maybe even a book or two. Ooh. Believe him, What's he seems nice. Name. Hmm. What's your name? I want some collateral in this. Me. Yes, you. My name is Reginald. 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 Like Madonna, you know. <laughs> like Magma. You... Inside again. Probably... One name. You probably don't one know one who name. Madonna is. <laughs> uh, definitely an inside again. Yeah, go for it. Yes, all right, that's a 23. Wow. Based on the random charisma I gave him previously, mine is a 24. Five. Oh. Thank you. Seems legit. His name's definitely Reginald. Okay. okay. All right. Go ahead, Jen. Right. So, Jed, you were going to hit five. the thing. I rolled a five plus five, so ten. <laughs> oh. It, it doesn't, it gets like halfway up. <laughs> All right. And he's like, oh. Reach. Is maybe you're a bit tired. From that. How many times can I, try this? Can, I, can I try it again? Well, perhaps we should let someone else have a turn first. Who's next? Do you mind if I look at it? Uh, sure. Yeah, Making he wants to invest. investigate it. Yeah. Sure. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see where it's rigged. It's a carnival game. It feels rigged. <laughs> okay. And his general dodginess from earlier. It's a huh. carnival game. An investigation check. Uh, that is the spider lady. Or 24. 24? Yeah. Um, it's not rigged in the usual way. There's definitely a way to hit the bell. Um, but it is a relatively small window. And it's easy to get too little or too much. Is the vibe okay. you get. Getting, getting the exact right amount of force mm -hmm. to hit it without destroying it or busting it is mm -hmm. going to be challenging. But not impossible. It hasn't been so designed if, to be impossible. Okay. If 
Kilrick uses his magic awareness, is it magical? Um, if you use your magic awareness, everything is magical. This whole okay. place is like a okay. big fucking illusion. Yeah. So, so with that so investigation. Yes, yeah, but like everything's magical, so it's really hard to mm -hmm. identify. Yep. Sorry. All right. With that investigation, could I maybe roll to hit it with advantage, knowing... The, the rough window? Yeah. I'll allow it. I'll okay. allow it. That's I will fair. also say that you you roll with advantage, and then you can pick which of the rolls you're going to use. Ooh. Because Ooh, it's not it's not a straight... The... You, yeah, you don't know where the window mm -hmm. is, but it's not a straight... Yeah. It, yeah. Okay. Nice. Mm hmm That's, uh, 16. <laughs> I rolled a 16 and a 9, so I'm gonna go with 16, uh, 9 to plus 7, so 16. Okay. Um, it gets a little higher than Jed's one did, but it doesn't hit the bell. Alright, I will try, if you don't mind. Okay. Go for it. Oh, no, it's not gonna... Um... Uh, no, that's only an 11. <laughs> 11. I would like to try. Okay. That is uh, 18. 18? Mm-hmm. You watch magma hit the thing and it goes... Whoosh, ding! And then comes back down. And as magma turns in triumph, you see her disappear. Magma, you wake up wherever you were before. Mm -hmm. And as you look around, you can see a bag full of gold and some lovely weapons that are exactly Ooh. your perfect choice of weapons. Okay. You have successfully nice. completed the challenge. Well done. Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! Who's next? <laughs> of course, the rest of you don't know that. You just see Magma disappear. Right? Yeah. Can I try? Mm -hmm. Go for it, Shasta. Okay. Yeah. I think our dad's convinced this is all a dream. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I feel strong. 24. 24. Uh oh. <laughs> you all watch <laughs> as Shasta walks up to the thing, smacks it, and it. and the bell just explodes. And as it does, it makes a terrible noise. Oops. You said 24, didn't you? I did. Mm -hmm. No. I'm sorry. Oh, I rolled really high. Um, oh, no. You all take 26 oh, no. points of psychic damage from Ooh. the sound of the bell shattering. Oh. Ow. And as it happens, he goes, oh, that was a little hard. Let me fix that. And he sort of waves oh. his hand and the bell reforms. Uh, Shasta, you don't want to hit it with all of your might. Just a little bit of your might, okay? You see that he's like okay. kind of struggling with himself right now, and, like with the pain that he just endured. I'm going to roll just to see if he keeps control right now. Yeah, for now he does. But oh. he's, he's shaky. Yeah. Uh, so Shasta, who hasn't had a go? Rosie. Sorry, carry on. Shasta, you gotta... C come here real quick there, guy. Yeah. You gotta... Yeah. Not, not quite so hard. That that was a good hit. You know, if you were trying to break the bell, that was great. But we're trying to just, just tap the bell, just ding. So not. I did not, not quite know so that the hammer was so heavy. I did not know. I'm sorry. That's, that's okay. You, you did. You you did good. Now you know for the next one. <laughs> I will be careful. Just... I promise. There you go. <laughs> See, we we just want to get you home. Thank you. See. I think so you're the only Rosie, one who hasn't tried. So Rosie was um, a little gun shy. She uh, barely gave it the lightest tap with a nine. So <laughs> yeah, having having experienced the pain of what happened when Shasta hit it really hard, you were just like, <laughs> yeah. didn't even get close to the bell. Nope. So all of you not, have now had a go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who would like a second go? You can go back the same way we did? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna, that works. I'm, I'm gonna go after Shasta. I wanna make sure he gets out of here before I do. Aww. 
You don't want to okay. hear that phrase anymore. Uh, 17. 17. You hit it, and you watch as it goes up and stops just before the bell. Oh, and drops oh, back man. down again. <laughs> <laughs> Magma just hit that window. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it's my turn, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. 13, 13, 16, 17, 18! 18. 18! You will watch as Calric hits the thing. It goes up, it goes... Ding, and Calric disappears. <laughs> Calric, you wake up wherever you were before with gold and weapons. <gasps> Of the exact Yay. sort that you enjoy, whatever that may be. Well done on completing the challenge. Who's next? Shasta, I believe. I'm a little afraid to go. Like, do, do, does he have another game? No, this, this is the game we gotta play there, Shasta. Just remember, not quite so hard. You know how heavy yeah, the hammer try. is now. You can, you can do it. I have faith in you. Okay, I try. He's a little bit shyer now, and it's 11. 11. Oh, he's so scared of hurting everyone again that he's just like... And it goes... Nothing happens. Hey, that's okay. That's okay. That's, you know, you didn't hit it too hard. Now you know you need to hit a little harder than that, right? Right in the middle. Right. That's right. You try. Show me how you do. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and let Rosie go. I don't wanna I wanna make sure you get it before I do, okay? Okay, I will try. So All Rosie, right, Rosie. Lives, Rosie lives here now. She got an eight. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's just Does gonna not. cheer for everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> you, you guys got this. Rages left? <laughs> well, no, no, I don't. Who's next? Yep. Jet, you Jen. again? Okay. Uh, uh, 20. 20. You hit it, and it like solidly goes ding! And you will watch Jed and her spider vanish. Jed wakes up in her spider farm with gold and weaponry of the sort you would like, and maybe a baby, very strange, exotic, fiendish spider in a little box sitting on. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Abyssal spider. Three down, three to go. Who's <laughs> next? Now. Instead of a chicken. Hi, Shasta. <laughs> it's your feet. turn again. <laughs> okay. I try to be better. Right in the middle. You got this, Right buddy. in the middle. That's 19. Hey. 19. So Shasta has done too much and too little, and now he manages to hit it, and it's right in the middle, and he... When he hears the ding, he would yell, uh, please, 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 wait, 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 Mr. Ginald. Mr. Ginald, Re Reginald? Yes. Yes. Uh, could you send Miss Rosie instead of me? Because I think that she has a bit of trouble with the hammer. And it's okay. No, that's again. not how the game oh, works. <laughs> and he claps his hand and you disappear. <laughs> nice try. Bye, but Shasta. he's, he's, he's Bye. not that... <laughs> oh, Games have so rules. Sweet. It was very kind. But no. um, Shasta, you wake up in your usual place, wherever that may be. Gold, weapons of your particular choice, and maybe something special that Shasta might like. I, I didn't get That's enough cool. of a vibe to know what it is. Each of you would have something unique to you as well. Something. Mm. He, he doesn't test yeah. the weapon, but he's having a lot of fun with the gold. Excellent. I love Shasta. And there are two of you left. Who's next? Oh, I think since Shasta's gone, I think it's my turn. Uh, do I still have advantage? Yep. All right. Rosie, you just got inspiration, so you also have advantage. If you <coughs> want it. P pity, pity, pity. That is a 19. Excellent. You hit the thing. It woo, bing. And you also vanish. Wake up where you came from. Gold. Awesome things. A couple of really rare books. First edition. Well, Rosie, just you and me. This Let's is going to be like the last person home. on the golf course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
You have oh, advantage. Oh, son of a... Like st stuck in the sand pit, like hitting the same ball <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> And like, what is it? Like, par was like four or something, and I'm like at 80. Yes, I got a 21. Yep. 21. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Rosie is sick to death of being the only person who can't hit this bell. <laughs> Walks up to it and just thwacks it. And it goes up and it goes. And there's a moment where the bell vibrates like it's about to shatter, and then it doesn't. 21 was the top of the window. Oh, <laughs> that was lovely. And Rosie. <laughs> disappears, wakes up back wherever you came from with some beautiful weapons Boons. and gold and did you say and booze? Spoons? Oh, spoons! spoons. <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> All Chrissy's characters get spoons. Um, <laughs> It is the law. And you have all survived the experience of this strange and wondrous carnival of Reginald. Wow. Congratulations. Oh, good yeah. job, guys. Yay. Good job, DM. Mm -hmm. I got we adore you so much for being a part Thank of this you. craziness. If you have enjoyed this episode of Birds of a Feather, where we had six barbarians, you should become a subscriber and then you can come into our Toasted Ogre, which is the channel in our Discord for subscribers, where they are currently choosing what the next class will be. You have exactly until I look at it after the stream to vote Ooh. in what the next class will be. It was pretty close last time I looked. I what? haven't even looked, to be honest, so I don't uh. even know what's in the running. Um, and yeah, we will be scheduling that when we can, probably in January sometime, because this time of year is bonkers. Um, <coughs> And if we hit 50 subscribers in what December, that's where we are. I was like, what month are we in? Um, we will do another one. So the one we're being voted on for at the moment is from November. To get another one, 50 subscribers in December. That is new or renewed subscribers. So if you're already a subscriber, all you need to do is renew your, your subscription for another month. And that counts. This is even more con confusing than the time zones right now. Yes, the time zones. <laughs> time zone. What are you talking about? <sighs> anyway. Thank you all. Thank you, six lovely humans, for being part of this thing and for making Bye, up everyone. such fun barbarians. Thank you, everyone, for watching and being part of this crazy thing. We love you so much. We're taking next weekend off, but you can watch Lionel's Cthulhu game this week. Um, next weekend is my birthday, so I'm taking the weekend off. The following week, we have another Gallon Horde game, Liming Dosa, which involves monks Ooh. and an evil book. It should be great. Mm -hmm. um, as always, we appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. And we love you. <laughs>